Hey guys, so as I'm sure you read from the title, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring regarding the crosshair overlay dilemma. As you may have heard, there has been a little bit of quote unquote drama regarding the usage of crosshair overlays in the finals. Honestly, I find it a bit odd that a disagreement with clickbait titles and thumbnails now qualifies as YouTube drama, but hey, whatever gets them more views, man. Also, I just want to say that I do not plan on covering drama related topics really on this channel, but this one hit close enough to home that I felt like I had to address it. Also, as a quick disclaimer, I just wanted to say this. I have no association with either of these YouTubers, and I doubt they even know my name. So with that being said, I believe that can at least hopefully make me an impartial party in this kerfuffle. And hopefully that can at least absolve me from specific bias towards one YouTuber or another. However, I also want to say that I am a bit biased in favor of crosshair overlays for reasons I'll explain in a short bit. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, all of this drama started because a YouTuber named Gravity Drop was recently called out by another YouTuber and content creator named Otter. Otter is an individual I highlighted for creating a good movement guide in my own movement guide. The reason he was called out was because Gravity Drop made a few claims regarding crosshair overlays that Otter didn't necessarily agree with and felt like it could potentially be misinformation. The claims really just boiled down to saying that crosshair overlays are not bannable they are encouraged by the developers, while Otter says they are not. Gravity Drop makes a great point by telling us and showing us the terms and conditions for the finals anti-cheat, and in that anti-cheat, it does show that nowhere does it mention in any way, shape, or form that a crosshair overlay is cheating and is a bannable offense as a cheat. However, Otter claims the contrary, and on top of claiming the contrary, he proves it and backs it up by at least showing Embark's Discord about their stance against third-party overlay applications, including crosshairs that give an unfair advantage. All of this leaves us in a bit of a gray area, where on Discord they claim it's cheating, but they're anti-cheat. And in the terms and conditions, nowhere is it mentioned that applications like Crosshair X are bannable. Hell, even Crosshair X is whitelisted in the easy anti-cheat. Now, I would like to give my opinion on this matter. I've always seen Crosshair programs such as Crosshair X as an accessibility tool. I equate Crosshair X and other applications that function in the same way and offer no other additions that could alter gameplay similar to peripherals. The program quite literally does nothing more than shoving an interactive PNG on the center of your screen using the Xbox game bar available on all Windows PCs. It has zero functionality beyond that, and I cannot stress that enough. So if anybody is using anything simpler, I personally think it's acceptable. Now, if you're of a differing opinion, you may ask yourself why? How could you think that? Doesn't a custom crosshair that other people can't access in game give one an advantage? Well, my answer is yes and no. It's kind of complicated. For the people that care enough to want to customize a crosshair, but then find that they can't because it's not an in-game feature, it can be seen as an advantage since they can't while somebody else who is using it on their own can. But in the same light of advantages, wouldn't somebody using a top of the line mouse like a G Pro Superlight and a Wooden keyboard have a bigger advantage in peripherals than somebody who just bought a $20 wireless keyboard and mouse? Yes. Wouldn't somebody with a 4090 be better off and have a hardware advantage over somebody who has something simple like a 3060? Yes. So how is a small PNG that is literally just stuck in the middle of your screen and does absolutely nothing else have a bigger impact and more of a concern in the community and for the developers than hardware limitations or anything else that could really be talked about. I mean, there's tons of issues we could be discussing, but somehow this is making waves as an issue in the community. I don't know how. 
Beyond this comparison that one may or may not agree with, I would like to bring up my own experience on why I truly believe tools like Crosshair X are an accessibility tool. In my own experience of using this game's crosshairs, I've come to terms with it's not accessible for neurodivergent individuals who have trouble focusing, i.e. people like me with ADD or ADHD. Trying to focus past this game's obnoxiously large and intrusive crosshairs is a task that takes more effort than playing the game. I already turn off the announcers because their incessant dialogue triggers my ADHD and makes it very difficult for me to focus in intense situations. But I had to also turn off the crosshairs because it literally was migraine inducing. And I don't mean that in some kind of cute metaphorical way. I mean, it was literally migraine inducing and causing me great troubles at the end of a gaming session. And it was doing so because I was deliberately having to try to move past my ADHD and focus on the target through the crosshair and through everything else that is going on on the screen. The crosshair is just too large and intrusive. I personally can't fathom why it's a design choice of developers to forbid crosshair customization and to try to force these large blocky crosshairs with no other options. I never thought I'd be using this term, but it feels quite ableist to force this design against the will of the community and to claim that having your own crosshair, like in an overlay or on your monitor, is cheating when no other decent option is present. In all honesty, it tells me that Embark Studios and other studios that continue down this train are basically just telling me that my ADD slash ADHD is my problem and that I just got rolled by genetics. It really just wholeheartedly feels like they've told me, get rolled, better luck next life, hope to see you then. And I have to tell you, it really is not a good feeling, man. What are your thoughts on Crosshair Overlays? I'd love to see your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Take it easy and peace.